today was like started the official partial lockdown in Ghana and honestly speaking I haven't even stepped out of my house and it is hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ifeja I'm sure you're wondering why I'm in this crop cup and all that well I tell you I was shooting a TikTok video <laughs> yes I was actually shooting a TikTok video so I'm just gonna take up my scrub cap I'm actually like full on in my scrubs like and I thought you know what let me shoot a video it after it's like a medical school channel after all so guys what's up it's been a hot minute don't worry the Rara video is going to follow this I'm not even going to edit this one like just bam 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 like I'm shooting it I'm just gonna put it out there Anywho, this video is just to like talk about what the situation is in your country um, the whole um, what's it called going on the um, virus pan pandemic yeah that's what it's called the virus pandemic yeah we're not going to mention the name because i don't know youtube doesn't want us to mention the names and i'm saying so the virus pandemic that is going on right now what's it like in your country so yesterday was like started the official partial lockdown in ghana and honestly speaking i haven't even stepped out of my house and it is hard. i don't know what to say like i don't know what to do can you imagine right now like i'm shooting videos <laughs> doing tiktok but earlier on though two weeks ago school school like school closed so when the third week of like no school so what's the lockdown situation in your country how lockdown is locked down so currently we have like the firefighters the essentials basically are going to what the doctors nurses are going to work then the people who sell groceries and so because we don't have like standard test codes or as that or something we just have like shop i know everybody can afford to go to like shop because it's like a little bit of the distance actually there's no shop around me so i just rely on like other like little like supermarkets around so those people are like kind of allowed to open but there are a lot of videos circulating around the internet of military people like smacking people uh i'll see if i can get some of the videos and insert them here So yeah, did you enjoy that? <laughs> but yeah, in Nigeria they said the lockdown yesterday, 11 p.m. and um, I seen quite a number of you know <laughs> forceful pe people forcefully being told to stay at home. I mean, really, we should really stay at home because that's the only way we can flatten the curve. I tried to look for a graph of the curve and insert it somewhere here as well. We're here as well yes i have to platin the curve so that we like tend not to infect more people what's it like for you because in ghana once they start the whole pandemic thing sorry my phone is my phone is like going crazy anyways let's get back to the video so yeah um where was i yeah don't be distracted so um basically yeah the essential people are allowed to walk around and all of that but i haven't gone outside to see what it's like because i actually had a doctor's appointment on monday but Home girl was very scared, scared, did it scared, like I didn't even bother, like no, there's no going out. But yeah, um, so what are you doing with your time? So for the past two weeks I've literally been resting because I was like beginning to fall sick. 
with the way like the school session was going it was just so rapid i couldn't couldn't so i used the last two weeks to kind of recover and i was really lazy i indulged in my laziness but i'm beginning to feel uncomfortable right now so what i'm doing now is like last night i couldn't just do it like i haven't read in two weeks not like i haven't read i've done some light reading here and there but i haven't read read so um I'm gonna silence this yeah so what i did was i started working on my dissertation like i collected some data before the whole partial lockdown thing started and um i started putting it into spss and all of that so i was able to like complete that last night and um yeah so today i'm going to this like i think i walk better in the middle of the night i'm going to proceed to like analyze the data i have like through the pie charts look at percentages look at incidence rates calculate incidence rates and all of that once i have the analysis done then i can sit down during the day and then kind of like think about what this question is going to be about so basically this one after i'm done with that and i'll pick up one topic a day let's say diabetes i read and all of that that's the plan doesn't mean that it's going to be executed that way you know we're on holiday so do not hold me like ah madam uh, you can be my accountability partner to make sure i do it all right so for you to easily get in touch with me i think i'm on twitter more these days if you have twitter this is my twitter name here if you have instagram this is my instagram name here and if you have tiktok <laughs> This is my TikTok name here. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we've got TikTok. This is my TikTok name here. Yeah. Basically, um, that is what I'm gonna encourage people to do. Like this whole lockdown period, you can make it very productive. I've been wanting to like exercise and all, but I haven't gotten to it. It's not only you, me and you are inside this together. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So from tomorrow, I'll try to wake up really like early enough nine o'clock is early enough if i sleep like 12 or two nine nine o'clock is early enough i'll try to do some light skipping do some push-ups i'm gonna like download a workout plan and see if it works after a week if i'm able to follow it if not if i'm able to follow it i'll add it to the end of the next vlog i'm going to upload and then i'll just share the schedule with you guys but because i'm kind of free and it's going to be like a short video to share the schedule with you guys i'm just going maybe i might just upload in the middle of the week so get ready after all there's nothing you're doing your time so use your data to watch me okay this video will not be up to 10 minutes long i promise you so i'm going to be giving you like short 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 videos except like the major major vlogs that are going to be like proper long but these other isolation videos i got you bro i know you want to watch me as often as possible so you know i, I me me i got you okay i'm gonna make it short for you so uh what is next like i said be productive you have some goals you want to achieve achieve them if it's um health wise if it's um fitness wise if it's um academic wise you know just like i try to achieve them and all that uh what else is left that i'm supposed to say is it this why i should have a plan like plan what you want to say but yeah basically what is the lockdown like in your country how efficient are the services and all of that like i told you in ghana grocery stores are open people who, some food vendors are allowed to open like the big major supermarkets like essentials not like makeup supermarket essentials are allowed to open that kind of thing doctors are allowed to roam around nurses firefighters those kind of people are allowed to roam around then they're using the police and the uh, military people to like military yeah military is from police i mean yeah they need them to kind of like enforce that people stay home i haven't actually gone outside to see what it's like like honestly speaking in two days i haven't seen the sky and i'm hurt what no i'm honestly worried for my vitamin d levels so because of that i am going to like try to just go and sit outside tomorrow like on my balcony or something and just kind of get a little bit of sun but you know i produce a lot of melanin but yeah as we're trying to keep fit for the what's it called and stay like our immune system needs a little boost you know what i'm saying so try to get like some vitamin c and multivitamins and then you know top it up i recommend that and take a lot of water take at least three liters of water i also take at least three liters of water most people say 2.5 to 3. I try, I try to take at least three liters of water today i've taken like a liter so that's not enough by my standard it's very annoying because i had to wake up in the night to pee and i really hate it but it reduces my risk of getting ddt according to you know one of my props so it's not like it's lying it's true but <laughs> but it's true but i really hate waking up in the night to pee like i just want to have full sleep but yeah so i just got this like combination i'm not recommending the brand or what's not but it's got um 
lactic acid, the B complex, zinc, and um, vitamin C. I also take like folic acid every day, but my sister is like, she's questioning why I'm taking it every day and then whatever, whatever. So I decided to do it like 14 days. We had our reasons for that, I'm not going to disclose that yet. If you have any questions about that, you can ask me and I'll be willing to go into that, all right? <laughs> so yeah, I'll say take some multivitamins, like take some supplements to help your immune system and eat well, eat good, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, so thanks again for watching my video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you even waiting for? Click on the subscribe button right now, click on the bell beside it, you know what I'm saying? So that you can get your post notifications will come on when I upload the video and do not forget to come back because I'm posting another video very soon bye guys oh wait wait do not forget to follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok